uh, I think it's good afternoon and we are freaking forgot again um, <clears throat> we are kind of a 20 minute journey away from the uh, sky bridge um, I was on the Isle of Sky yesterday um, however uh, the weather yesterday was horrendous um, and literally all day yesterday and I was joined by two other vans during the day but it, it forecast southwesterly uh, gales, strong wind um, and we were parked up on the northeastern part of the Isle of Skye um, at a place that I normally frequent and it was really good because obviously it's enclosed, I was out of the wind, but literally it didn't matter where you was parked, uh, the wind was going to get you. Um, at quite a few times, even Archie, um, inside the van, um, it was like, is this going to tip over? As how bad it was. Um, I had to get out a few times and climb up towards the roof and have a look just to see if there was any damage. Because uh, a few times it felt like uh, a few things might have come loose, solar panel or whatever else. Um, but thankfully, uh, it was just broken branches that got caught underneath the solar panel and were making scratching noises. But lit that went on from like yesterday morning, uh, some from like six o'clock in the morning all the way until gone past midnight. Uh, and I didn't really sleep very well. We couldn't get out much in the day to do anything so um, we literally were like housebound all day because of the uh, real bad weather uh, same as the other two vans that were parked next to us and I've been I, I had planned to go back and explore explore sky now that my friend Scott had left um, but literally the weather forecast up in Scotland is just horrendous and it's literally wherever you go um, you're either going to get caught by gales, fog, heavy rain. It, it doesn't really matter. So I was kind of thinking to myself, you know, what can I do and where can I go and um, how can I try and escape this? But there isn't really. Um, that's one of the things about van life is like sometimes you are at the mercy um, of the elements and there's nothing you can do. Doesn't matter where you go, or where you park up, or where you try and escape to. Um, if you come away, like I do, enjoy Scotland, especially in winter, especially to a place like the Isle of Skye, where it is remote um, and it is part of the Atlantic Ocean, you're gonna get caught. So this morning, after a very sleepless night, um, I decided to get up and come all the way via Broadford on the Isle of Skye, get some supplies, get some LPG, um, even though I didn't need it, get some diesel, uh, buy a bit of food and then come out to here. So our plan is literally now we're going to head back to the towards Fort William. Um, we're going to go and chill out uh, down there for a couple of days. I know a park up that's quite sheltered so there is forecast of strong winds coming back in for the whole of this week and heavy rain, torrential rain. Um, as you can see now today is a quiet peaceful um, but the cloud and the clag is in um, so we're up on this high viewpoint um, and Dorney Castle is that way um, and Fort William is that way so we, we're gonna stay here tonight we're gonna t make our slow way back to Fort William uh, once we're in Fort William we're gonna get a uh, shower go to Aldi, Morrison's, all that sort of stuff. And then from there, we'll just hang around Fort William, um, Glencoe area, a place I know. Um, from there, I just don't really know. It's, I'm at the mercy of the weather. All I do know is by, by the latest of the 20th of February, uh, I will be back in the Midlands area to drop Archie off at my mum's. Because uh, I will be going to the camping and caravan show at the NEC in February. 
Um, as for other plans, that is pretty much it. We're just um, licking our wounds and enjoying a bit of peace and quiet after a very restless night. But that's van life. That's what happens. But it's all good. This is where we are, Mam, Mam Rattigan. Good day everyone. So for the past couple of days we've been pretty much trying to get away from the Isle of Skye. Uh, the weather has just been horrendous. So we are back towards Glencoe Way, which I know is not the greatest area either, but this is a pretty sheltered place uh, because again it's forecast gusty winds, torrential heavy rain, for the remainder of the next four days so we're just going to park up here we've got enough gas we've got enough diesel there's a petrol station just down the road anyway shops in fort william um we've got everything we need so we're just going to sit out here it's a shame really because obviously at the start of the trip the weather conditions were great but this is wild van life camping in the highlands of scotland there's just nothing around Reality of van life. Hello. Hello, pretty. <laughs> yeah. It's not the greatest of days, is it? No. But it's van life. Think arch, it's a bit shit in it. Hey, buddy. day so it's just been like this all day uh, you can see like there's a big thick uh, envelope all wrapped in like this fog mist just drizzling away strong winds coming in just really miserable
Well, good morning from Glencoe again. And this is our third day back here. I'm trying to hide out from the wind, and the weather has changed. It's not raining. However, the uh, the temperature has dropped. Um, so we are just walking. Go for an early morning walk. I'm back to get some work done in the van in a minute, but yeah, after the past few days of just heavy rain, strong winds, and all that sort of stuff, and hiding out in the shelters in the woods over here. Uh, yeah, the day's a little bit better, but you can feel the temperature drop again. So it's either one or the other. I would prefer it like this, to be honest. But again, this is uh, van life. I'm saying that word. It's not always sunshine and bikini-clad men and women <laughs> in the back of a van. So, but I know that this is just a break in the weather because tomorrow uh, the stormy weather and rain is back again for the weekend. It's a shame because it's absolutely stunning when you just have a chance to see what is around you. So our plan is we've ordered something from Amazon uh, on the next day delivery. So that arrives tomorrow into Fort William into the post office. So our plan uh, is I've got my work done by the end of today. We're driving to Fort William in the morning, going to collect some parcel and grab a shower at Fort William train station as usual. Uh, go to Aldi and then from there we'll take a drive up via Loch Ness and head towards Dingwall where we will need to get uh, well we don't really need it it's not an emergency but every time I go that way I get it LPG and fill up some diesel and then we're probably going to stay around Lossiemouth or try to stay around Lossiemouth reason for that is it's not essential but uh, I'm going to strip my bed in, it's been on a week, don't kill me for that, don't shoot me, uh, and then change my bed in, do my laundry in, at Nairn, uh, stay around there for, a, for the weekend, and then possibly head towards Kimlock, you, uh, for a couple of days just to chill out, and hopefully uh, relax for a bit, um, after that, I'm, I'm at the hands of the weather, so which is a shame because if the weather was to like clear up, it would be absolutely stunning. So we're at the mercy of the weather conditions and nothing exciting planned to be perfectly honest because of the weather. It's just one of those things. But this is van life. Not everything is like driving around 24 seven seen different countries I am stuck in Scotland and on days like the past few days there is just nothing to film that's the proof and that's fan life for you but there he is he's happy I'm happy uh, he, heating's on kettle's ready back to the van for a brew Back to the van for a brew. Is that a Instagram? Pack the van and go. Back to the van for a brew. I'm a... Right, let's go back. See you in a bit. Archie! Whoop! <laughs> Hey everyone, so I'm on the parking location of the shop on Cairngorm Mountain and uh, 
So Storm Malik is just coming in. So it's pretty cool. So we just thought we'd come Storm Malik again. It's not too bad by Sugar Bowl, but it's bloody blustery and full of wind chill. Let's go and find my dog because that is somewhere. <laughs> Good morning, back in the Kangles. Um, met up with my an old army friend. I haven't seen him for about two years. Uh, old Baz. So we had a coffee yesterday and having more. Uh, he's up here for the next couple of weeks. Um, doing some winter mountaineering. So, uh, yeah, we had a coffee yesterday. And then obviously this storm Malik was due to hit. So we've come up to the Sugar Bowl car park where we stayed the night. Uh, so it's been a bit of a restless night. Not as bad as I thought it would be because we sneaked in and hid into the trees as best we could. Uh, but this morning, since about six o'clock, it's just been hellish. Like really battering the van and, and all that sort of stuff. Um, but it's starting to calm down now. It's about half eight, nine-ish. Uh, I think, according to the news, it's going to start dying down from about 10 o'clock onwards. Whatever it does or not. So our plan, obviously because uh, I'm up here with Baz for a couple of days, was then to go for a walk just across from the Sugar Bowl, as if you're going into the, the Corries, Corrie and Schnecter, uh, where we used to go winter climbing. Uh, just for a walk and a leg stretch with Archie. But if the weather's like this, then there's no point because you're just you're so exposed up there. But I might have to be into having more for a coffee. <laughs> My life sucks. Uh. So, Storm Cory came in last night. It wasn't as bad as I thought it would be. And um, we've literally woken up to a winter wonderland. So, come on. So, yeah, we've woken up to a winter wonderland today. A little bit chilly this morning, 
but no no issues with um, the wind in this sheltered spot so we stayed again at the sugar bowl on the Cairngorms and uh, it didn't forecast any snow but pleasantly surprised that there is some snow oh man it's cold um, so the diesel heater is on now that we're awake and it's time to pack up and go and relax for a bit is literally I've got to go to Inverness that way I've got to get LPG today I've got to do some laundry um, and a few other things and then I think tonight I'm going to try and stay at Lossiemouth around the area before heading back towards Glencoe but how cool is this we're toward the land excuse me for yawning i